A global governing body for esports called the Global Esports Federation or GEF was launched on Monday afternoon. The organization will be headquartered in Singapore and helmed by Chris Chan. The GEF said that its vision is to be the voice and authority for the worldwide esports movement. Esports made its debut as a full-fledged medal discipline at this month's SEA Games, the first time it has been included at an Olympic-recognized multi-sport competition. ST correspondent Cezali Abdul Aziz wrote about this yesterday and we have him here with us to share more. Hi Cezali, here you are with us to share more. Yeah. <laughs> so eSports has been going on for a while, right? So mm. is this establishment of the Federation sort of a long time coming? Yeah, certainly. I think um, popularity of, of eSports has grown a lot, I think, uh, in the past decade particularly. Um, and, you know, in terms of the formation of GEF itself, it came to fruition after discussion about a year ago between uh, Mr. Ng Sam Yang, who is um, the executive member of uh, the International Olympic Council, and let me make sure I get his name right, Wei Zhe Zong, mm -hmm. who's uh, an honorary li life vice president of the Olympic Council of Asia. So they had a conversation about just over a year ago, uh, or maybe at the start of the year, uh, rather, and um, you know, it, it sort of grew into this idea that there could be a governing body uh, that sort of aligns itself with the Olympic movement that's normally found in traditional sports, traditional physical sports, of course. So, uh, as you mentioned, you know, esports itself has has made plenty of strides uh, over the years. Prize money at tournaments and participation numbers, viewership numbers um, has increased uh, tremendously over the years. I think uh, currently there are over 2 billion uh, active gamers, which is basically like about a third of the global population, which yeah. is pretty insane. Um, and in the last 24 months in particular, in terms of um, notching milestones, um, um, in tr trying to be recognized as a real sport per se, uh, it's featured at the Asian Games uh, in Jakarta uh, and obviously last month at the Sea Games as well in the Philippines. I see. Well, this is actually a global federation, right? Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. is the significance of it sort of being headquartered here in Singapore? Yeah, well, uh, we, we asked this question to, to Christian, the GF president mm -hmm. yesterday, and, and he said there is no real special significance of, of it being here. But okay. having said that, obviously, um, him as a Singaporean leading um, a global organization like this is, is something great. And, and Singapore has positioned itself um, as being the forefront when it comes to technology and innovation. Um, so I guess it's, a, it's an app location for, for this push for, for GF to be the world governing body of esports. Uh, it's also where uh, and this was mentioned a couple of times yesterday where the first Youth Olympic Games uh, was held in 2010, of course. Um, so in that aspect, it's, it's, you know, like I said, with the, with the alignment and, and the goal of being um, recognized by the IOC eventually, uh, it's helped as well. Um, generally, eSports governance uh, globally is, is pretty decentralized and it's uh, industry driven by publishers, game makers and so on. Um, so there is um, a space there to be, to be um, you know, and there's an opportunity to be taken. Uh, and I guess it's great for, for GF to be based in Singapore as, as they, they make that push. Right, so what exactly uh, is the purpose of this federation? What exactly are we expecting it to do? I think one of the things uh, GF would like to do is, is I mean, they, they use the word galvanize esports. I think they also want to give it legitimacy. I think, okay. um, like I mentioned earlier, you know, there are it's the detractors, you know, people who say sitting in a room, you know, in, in a dark it's room playing sports. games is not sport. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are others who say, you know, they, they need, you, you need the same level of stamina and, and focus and stuff mm. like that. So it really is a debate, you know, it's chess sport. You know, it, it depends on, on how you look at it. So, uh, but like I mentioned earlier, you know, definitely participation numbers, viewership numbers um, have suggested that the sport is, is uh, really, really popular and it's only going to increase in popularity. Um, like I said, ultimate goal in the long term uh, is, is to have esports in the Olympics. Uh, it's, okay. it's, it's a lofty dream. Uh, I wouldn't say it's impossible, um, but certainly there are a lot of challenges. I think, for example, um, you would need um, all the global NSAs to, to sort of come together uh, and recognize uh, a body, an international federation such as GF. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a very step-by-step -step process and, uh, and I think it's going to take some time because even the National uh, Sports Association for Singapore, um, it's, it's currently only has uh, provisional status, partly because it's so new and mm -hmm. partly because there's a lot of criteria for it to, to, to check off the list before it's, it's uh, granted full status. So, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it, it's a step-by-step -step thing, but, but certainly I think judging by how fast eSport is growing, uh, there's a lot of potential in it. 
Yeah, and Team Singapore's doing great as well. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they did well, and 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 we've we've done well in like I said, you know, currently competitions um, are, are driven by game makers, publishers, and stuff like that. Uh, and we've we've you know got some big wins uh, on the international stage uh, in the last couple of years. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully we'll continue to do well. Look forward to seeing more of Team Singapore, and thanks for coming down uh, to share more with us, Azali. No do share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and if you'd like to read the full story, it is available on our website. And those were the top stories for today. For more news and videos, visit StraitsTimes.com. Once again, I'm Kimberly. Thank you for watching The Big Story and we'll see you tomorrow.